If you're looking for a completely free AI to upscale images or unblur, sharpen, and add details to images, this one is hard to beat. It's completely free to use. You can run this on your computer without any internet. Let's jump right in. So the tool I'm gonna share with you today is called Upscale, spelt like this. And they are offering a cloud version in case you don't want to run this on your computer. It offers a few new features such as face enhancement and 10 plus models to choose from. It's five times faster. However, it's not available yet. So you do need to enter in your details to join the waitlist. For today, we are just going to download the desktop version, which you can run on your computer without any internet. So let's click on desktop. Now I will install and run this on my laptop, which doesn't have a dedicated NVIDIA CUDA GPU. It's just, these are my display adapters, you can see here. So nothing fancy, let's see if this works. I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna click this, and then I'm gonna install the EXE. All right, it's done installing now, so let me double click on this, and then we'll click more info and then run anyway. Then we'll click install. Note that it's around 540 megabytes in size. And then that's it. Let's click finish and run the program. All right, once you have this up and running, it's pretty simple to use. All you need to do is upload an image, or you can also do batch upscale, which I'll show you in a second. And then you select the model and then you click upscale to upscale your image. So I've downloaded three test images into my folder here. I'm just gonna open these images for you real quick so you can see what it looks like. So you can see this one is super small. It's just an icon. And if you zoom in, you can see it's really blurry. So this is around like 250 by 250. The next one is a photo of a dog. It's sharp right now, but if again, if you zoom in, you can see the details are very blurry. And then the next one is a portrait of a dude. Again, it's a very small image and I chose these on purpose. And if you zoom in, you can see again, the details are very pixelated and it's blurry. So we're gonna plug all of these into upscale and see what it can do. So first of all, let's select an image. We're gonna go with this one first. Next step is you choose the upscale algorithm. Now these just offer subtle differences. One claims to be more balanced. One claims to be faster. One is for digital art, but you really need to just try each one out for yourself to see which algorithm works best for the particular image you're trying to upscale. For us, let's just try ultra sharp. And then you can select the output folder, which by default is the same folder that your image belongs to. And then in the settings, you can choose how much you want to upscale. By default, it's 4X. So let's try 4X first and I can show you the other settings afterwards. So going back to this upscale tab, you can see that it's going to scale this from 256 to 1024. So let's click upscale and see what that gives us. Note that it's completely free to use. You can generate this unlimited times and you don't need an internet connection. So I'm just running this on my laptop and wow, look at that. I mean, this is very impressive considering this original image is this blurry, right? This is 256 by 256. It was able to add this amount of detail to it. I'm also curious, what if we don't set this by 4X? What if we set this to 1X? So it's still going to remain 256 by 256, as you can see here but would it still sharpen this image? Would it still add more details to this original image? Let's test this out. And the answer is yes, it does. If you compare the before and after, you can see it gets rid of some of the noise and it does sharpen the details just slightly. So yeah, very impressive. Let's try another image. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Upix. If you're feeling overwhelmed with mid-journey or stable diffusion, you don't want to worry about prompting or learning all these different settings, well, Upix has made it dead easy for you to generate high-quality, realistic images of yourself or anyone else in just one click. It works on desktop as well as on your phone. You don't need to install any apps or anything, it just works straight from your internet browser. Simply select a template, and then upload your photo, and then click Create. It's as easy as that. And look how realistic the results are. There's many templates for you to choose from and more to come. So check it out at upix.app. I'm going to try this portrait of a person now. And then for settings, let's upscale this by 4X like we did before. 
And another thing is if you want to upscale this further, you can also double upscale it. But this is not recommended. Sometimes it does give you unwanted results and artifacts. So usually I just leave this off. So this original image is around 500 times 300. We are going to upscale this four times to around 2000. Let's see what this looks like. And wow, look at the before and after. This is really good. This is definitely a lot clearer. Now you can see it kind of blurs out some of the details of the skin. Like this guy's face should have more wrinkles than what you see right now. It kind of has this like makeup effect. So let's try another algorithm. Let's try this real S again and see if there's any difference. Usually the difference is really subtle. So again, you just need to test out each one and see which one works best for your image. All right, this is slightly better. It adds more noise to the image, but you can see it's more realistic. Look at that, still a very impressive difference compared to the original image. All right, final photo. Let's do this dog photo, which is, it's a pretty small photo. It's only 640 by 420. And so you can see a lot of the details aren't really sharp. So let's upscale this. And this is so good. Look at the details of the dog's fur and just the sharpness of the grass. And let me drag this over so you can see the flowers as well. Just really sharp and crisp details. This is so good. You can see like the, the quality of this is as good, if not even better than some of the paid AI sharpener tools out there like Topaz or Photoshop. Now, if you open my folder, you can see all of our results are saved in here. So I'm just gonna show you one last function, which is the batch upscale, but I'm just gonna delete all our results first. All right, so we only have these three original images in our folder. Now, when you check batch upscale, you simply select the folder, which in our case is called temp. And then let's do the fast one and then click upscale. And that's it. Now, if you open the folder, you can see our upscaled images are here. And this actually saves it in a folder in your folder. So here are our original images. Here are the upscaled images, which it saves in a separate folder. So that's basically all there is to this tool. Again, it's completely free to use. The quality is awesome. So definitely check it out. I will link to it in the description below. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, we built a site where you can search for all the AI tools out there. Check it out at ai-search.io.